In this video, let's take our robot and bring him into uh, Maya and maybe render a robot with um, Arnold. Now, one thing I do have to mention is that right now uh, in Substance Painter, the reason we have these really cool glowing effects is due to active post effects. So this is a post effect that is done on top of our actual 3D model. So this is uh, actually a little bit closer to what uh, we can recreate in Maya with Arnold. And of course, if you take this, this is built as a uh, game model. If you take this into something like Unity, then in Unity, you actually, as a game model, you could actually have all of these cool post effects. And uh, we can make a video on that as well. But in this video, let's just simply take our character and uh, bring him into Maya and see if we can um, apply these same uh, textures. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Export Textures. And these are the textures that are currently um, active. So I have Emissive, Height, Normal, Metallic, Roughness, and Base, and that's fine. So I'm going to leave it as PBR Metallic Roughness uh, for this video. And I'm going to set my background my dilation plus default background for petting and the size is 2k file type png that's fine and then you just have to select the folder that you would like to um, export your textures into i already did it once as a test so i'm just going to use the same textures folder and just say uh, export all right once they're done you can preview them and take a look and see what they look like uh, for this video we don't need any of this so let's delete our extra files here and then we just are left with these. So let's see if we can take these and plug them into Maya uh, Arnold. Okay, so let's jump in Maya. All right, so here I am in Maya. I'm going to go ahead and import my uh, model, which I used for Substance Painter. And I would like to actually scale him up a little bit. And let's position him on top of our uh, grid. So something like that. If you want, you can press Shift F and that will uh, center the character in every single uh, panel or uh, viewport. Uh, let's press spacebar and go into our perspective view here. And now what I would like to do is let's apply some of those textures that we just exported. So I'm going to select my character, right click, and say assign new material and I'm gonna say Arnold shader and I would like I would like to use AI standard surface shader all right so now let's start from the very beginning so at the very top we have a base color so let's go ahead and say weight I'm gonna set it to one and as a color I'm gonna to go to file Okay, so here's the base color. I'm going to set that as my base and I'm going to go ahead and click on this button to see what that looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and go back out. And now the next one down the list is going to be specular. So let's go ahead and set our, um, actually uh, metalness is what we want. So let's go ahead and click on metalness and file and in find our fi file so metallic is what i need i'm going to say open and for my uh, metallic i'm going to actually set this to raw and i'm going to turn on my alpha is luminance okay let's go back out and let's do a specular next so i'm going to say color file For my specular, I'm going to say, um, I actually don't have a specular map, but I can use this roughness map. I'm going to use that instead. I'm going to do the same thing. All right, let's uh, keep going down. So I don't need transmission or subsurface or coat or, or sheen. Let's do emission. For emission, let's turn this all the way up and grab our emission map. 
So let's do a emissive and say open. And I'm gonna leave it, leave it on sRGB for now and let's just see what else we got. So next we need our um, nor normal map. So let's do a normal map. That's gonna be, um, let's, that's the normal map is going to be under geometry, right? So we want to go ahead and let's close this. We don't need that. Let's grab our file and choose a normal map. All right. And for the normal map, let's go ahead and choose uh, raw. And if we wanted to, we can also um, adjust the alpha gain, maybe so it's not too strong. So maybe something like this should work. All right, so that pretty much uh, is what we have so far. So let's go ahead, go back out and let's make maybe make this a little more uh, specular. So to do that, I'm going to um, adjust my roughness and let's do a quick render so we can see what this looks like. Like obviously right now, if I press render, the only thing I'll see is my emission map because there's no lights in the scene. So to see the rest of the robot, let's go ahead and actually go to Arnold and lights and let's add a uh, sky dome light, right? So once we added the sky dome light, maybe we want to pump up our quality. So maybe we could do a four and a four on samples. And let's see what that looks like. So that's looking uh, pretty cool. Um, one thing we need we need to do is I really would like this to be a little more shiny. Let's go back into our materials. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Um, we can make it maybe even more more shiny by taking our roughness down and another thing I would like to do is maybe not have a white background so we can have like a dark gray background. So a couple things, let's, let's go into our settings and in the image size, let's set this to a square image just so we can see our robot a little better. I'm going to go to uh, these settings and I'm not going to worry about this yet. So let's go ahead and do a quick render. All right. Let's go ahead and go to Sky Dome. And actually, um, what I would like to do is under Sky Dome, uh, let's turn our camera down to maybe something like 0.047 and that's going to give us a dark background instead of a white background. All right, so that looks pretty cool. We can make it just a little bit darker even more. And another thing we could do is we can actually add a ground. So maybe let's add a floor to our character. And let's go ahead and assign a new material to this as well. So we can grab another AI surface and I'm going to leave it kind of a gray. And as far as the roughness, I actually don't want it to be a uh, trans or um, I don't really want it to be reflective. So I'm going to turn my roughness all the way up and let's just see how that looks.
All right, so I think that looks uh, that looks pretty cool. One thing we could do is maybe make the floor, the ground just a little bit wider, just so we don't have this uh, line here on the left. And maybe we can see, let's see if we can boost some of this um, glow just a little bit. Again, this uh, Arnold doesn't have a post uh, post effects, so we can have those amazing post effects glows, but maybe we can boost the glow just a little more, right? So to do that, I'm gonna go to my emission and let's select our uh, material. And instead of one, I'm going to do something uh, more dramatic. I'm going to set this to 85. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my color balance and maybe turn the default color down just a little bit. And let's just see what that looks like. You can see how much brighter everything is. And now we actually have some reflection uh, from our emission map on our ground. And that is pretty much the best we can do as far as um, rendering without using any post effects uh, here in uh, Maya. So one thing we could do is actually go back into our render settings. And let's pump the quality up. I'm gonna double everything I have here. And let's set this to like five and see if we can make it maybe a little uh, less grainy. All right, so this is what I have uh, in my uh, render view, and I'm pretty happy with this. I think this looks really cool. Uh, one thing we could try just for fun is maybe let's add a uh, rim light to our character. So right now the only uh, lights we have in our scene is this sky dome. Why not, uh, let's go ahead and click on this one time. Just click and it looks like nothing happens, but if you right click, you'll see that the bookmark has been set, which means now when we go away and uh, try to rotate or do anything else in our scene, we can always right click and click on camera view one to go back to the same bookmark of our perspective viewport, which is uh, really cool. So keep that in mind. So right now what I would like to do is go to Arnold and let's go to lights and maybe uh, let's add something like the uh, area light. I'm going to make this much larger. And what I would like to do is I would like to position my air light pointing sort of to the back of the character, just like you would in an actual studio. So maybe it's a little bit to the side of him and pointing sort of towards the back of the character. And now what we can do is let's pump up the quality of this by increasing our samples and another thing we could do is turn up the intensity because this is going to be our rim light right it's going to be coming from the back and we can even pump up the exposure and let's see what that looks like All right, so in this image, you can see there's some interesting things going on uh, from the back, which adds just a little more uh, intricacy and more excitement to our characters. And you can play around with the lights and see if you can make it um, look even nicer. But I just wanted to show you sort of the basics of how to take a character out of uh, Substance Painter and bring him into Maya and set him up for... Uh, kind of a pleasant appealing lighting. So at this point, um, we can do a few things. We can actually rig our character and make a, an anim animation. Maybe that would be a, actually a fun tutorial. And once we animate him, we can also bring him into Unity 3D and actually set him up with proper glowing as a game character. So please subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next video.